Hi Shruti, how are you? Hi Rohit, I'm doing good. How are you? I am also good. So, can you give brief introduction about yourself to our viewers? Okay. Hello everyone. I'm Shruti Chakraborty, a final year student pursuing B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from Asansol Engineering College. And uh, in my final year, I got placed in two companies as associate software engineer. In persistent systems and in Ernst and Young, E by GDS. Nice, nice. So in this interview, we will talk about persistent system. So how you yes. came to know about this persistent system, whether it is on campus or it is off campus? Yeah, persistent system. We got to know about it uh, through the through our training and placement cell. It was an on campus opportunity. Nice. So can you explain all around in brief? Like how many yeah. rounds were there? Yeah, there was the first round of resume shortlisting. Uh, following to it was an aptitude round that com consisted of the CS fundamentals and two coding questions. After this, we had one more uh, coding round that was the advanced coding round. Uh, so the students who performed very well in the first uh, coding round, they were given a chance to upgrade their package to a higher package from the base package. So that was an advanced coding round for those students. Following that, there was an interview for uh, all the eligible candidates. There was no uh, dedicated HR round for this company. Uh, I guess the HR round was also consolidated in the inter technical interview rounds only. Okay. That was all. Nice. So can you explain all the details about all the rounds? Like what was the difficulty level? What was the criteria? Yeah. Uh, in the first round, that was a resume shortlisting. We were just asked to fill in a Google form with all our 10th and 12th percentages and the BTEC CGPA. And then uh, also we had to give our resume. So I think based on that criteria only, the company shortlisted um, the deserving candidates and they provided us with a list of the candidates who are eligible for the next round. That was the aptitude round that also consisted of the CS fundamentals and uh, two coding questions. So the aptitude uh, questions were class 10th level only. They were basic, only uh, some basic brush up will do, uh, will do the needful. Like CS fundamentals. Category of you can say up to yeah. totally easy. Yeah, easy, easy only. Uh, it might the logic might be a bit tricky, but you know, uh, with practice, you can do it. You can do it with practice. The CS fundamental mm -hmm. questions were very straightforward. They were not very difficult to tackle. Uh, if you go through Geeks for Geeks or Java T Point, you can. Uh, you can tackle all those questions. Also, you can go through uh, interview bit if you want to uh, get a more detailed understanding. For the coding questions, they were from easy to medium, medium level of difficulty. So uh, here in this round, they had that criteria that those students who could submit both the coding questions with all its test cases passed will be given another chance to sit for an advanced coding round to upgrade their package. The base package was 4.7 and the upgraded one was, I guess, 7.5. So I was one of the um, top 10 person students. So I got another chance to upgrade my package. So that was, after this was the third round. Or, uh, this was the second round. And then we had another round of uh, advanced coding. So there the questions were of difficulty, like from medium to difficult. I could do one question with all the test cases passed. And the second question I couldn't complete, means I couldn't solve it completely. I, uh, I got seven out of 15 test cases passed. So after this round, uh, I could not upgrade my package to the uh, highest lab. So eventually, I got the interview call for the base package. So uh, the thing is, if uh, the students did not uh, qualify for the uh, advanced coding round, they were given an, given a chance to sit for the interview for the base package only. It's not like that if you aren't uh, qualified, if you aren't able to solve 
both the coding uh, coding questions you will not be given a chance to sit for the interview it was not like that so uh, as a result of the um, second round also i got to sit for the interview that was for the base package now in the interview it was a very standard interview the interviewer had very good knowledge of what he was asking uh, so he asked uh, questions from oops uh, java then um, operating system i think he touched every corners to get an understanding whether i have uh, the basic understanding of my uh, domain of what i i'm supposed to know whether i know that then um, he was also he also asked me to code live he shared a screen in their id provided from their end the coding question was very basic a basic recursion question Mm, i think the intention was to know whether if i know how to write clean code and uh, and i'm if i'm able to make him understand explain him the logic and the flow of the code so base uh, mainly that was the intention then the questions uh, were also from the basic da data structures like stacks queue arrays linked list then uh, also from collections heaps then uh, from static and dynamic memory allocation uh, one from computer networks as well and also he asked me to write one sql query to find the second largest uh, second highest question. salary ha huh, that's a very common you will get to know the answer but i got stuck there i couldn't write it completely but he asked me to explain it explain the logic so i explained him the logic and he seemed to be very satisfied and content with the approach with the way i explained means overall he was very satisfied with the answers and the way of explaining each answer so that was the interview round uh, and median level for this uh, for this interview yeah the questions were you know the basic questions like not very difficult uh I, as i told that his main intention was to mainly uh, see if i yeah whether the foundation is strong enough whether the candidate at least has the basic understanding of what he is supposed to know over these four years of his of a college life so the questions were very basic but the uh, it uh, it uh, had a very vast um you know outreach of topics nice you covered all those things like how you tackle all those question and you explain all those things very beautifully so now thank the you second last uh, question is when you started your coding journey and what road map you followed and what are the resources you follow for like aptitude coding cs fundamentals etc Mm, okay so uh, to start with the coding rounds if i start with that how to prepare for the coding rounds um like i used the platforms like hacker rank to code uh and uh, to understand the concepts i used gfg i think that is the most common tool we all use uh so yeah that will that will be sufficient that will be sufficient if you want to Uh, crack these companies if you want to do something very great then i think lead code you will you will obviously opt for something of higher difficulty but for me hacker and gfg they did the needful then for aptitude round you need uh, the brush up for the concepts and the regular practice so for brushing up the concept concepts you can we can uh, go for career ride that is a website um, and also it has youtube videos so just to revise and go through the concepts in a very simplified way you can take help from that also for the practice purpose use india bix i think that is also very common uh, among students then for cs fundamentals uh, about the concepts i had uh, Mm, a clear concept of uh, the cs fundamentals because i started them while uh, doing my semesters but for revision purpose i used it i used to study from javati point and uh, 
then uh, for the interview questions like top 20 top 50 interview questions because those are the questions that gets repeated you know wahi aate hai wahi pucha jata hai to for those uh, career uh, that interview bit is a good place then uh, from gfg the last minute notes you can go um, you can revise from there also uh, that's it i think like this if you divide it well and you get the resources well you can just prepare it nice nice i generally yeah. ask one more question like what you want to tell the shruti of first year like shruti you are you really proud of the first year like you did well i want to generalize like what you want to tell the shruti of first year of engineering college like you actually proud to that shruti and you like why you don't do this shruti if you do this that if you done that thing in the first year i am really at in the fourth year i have done something well so what do you want to convey the message to that shruti okay uh basically i don't have any regrets as of now because i enjoyed my college life to the full in the first year only because after that on after that everything got very gloomy also the covid started so the if i'm talking in respect of uh, enjoying my college life then i had enjoyed it completely and thoroughly in my first year so no regret on that but yes um if i would have done um a few more projects i would have been a more confident a more confident i i guess i uh, missed out uh, about projects in the interview round of persistence so yes the interview also asked me about project uh, and that was um, that was in java only and so i had uh, he just asked me what was the basic overview and if any challenges if i faced while doing the project so that was a point that i missed and i just covered it now so yeah in my first year if i would have done means at least started doing uh, more projects project based learning that would have been more beneficial i guess that's so, all nice now now the last question that is the outro for the student for the upcoming student for placement and for also 2020 pass out student who is still not get placed yet uh i think uh, the one message that everyone will give even to i will give that message to me also that just keep trying don't give up because there is there are enormous resources available over the internet free resources even you are doing so well you are helping lots of students lots, lots of juniors from your youtube channel over the content that you make so like this you know as we all know there are many youtube channels out there so just select one stick to that more or less everyone will give you same sort of guidance but you choose what suits you the best and uh, keep on doing that consistently be consistent with your hard work you know there is no second uh, path for success so be consistent uh, be confident with your capabilities you know what you are capable of and your success and our success is just a matter of time it's coming now or later it will be there and we'll be able to view it one day or the other so keep trying and um, do do the best that you can do consistency is yeah. the more important thing once you are in the yeah. you love programming you can't leave the programming right right nice thank you very much is the key. thank you rohit thank you for calling me this was a very first experience of mine and i don't know how it went but i'm, I'm really feeling very happy it's to be, well, be here it's went pretty well you share your all valuable knowledge to our juniors and also to me Thank I learned lots of things from you. Thank you very much for coming and sharing your experience with us. Thank you, Roy. Thank, Thank you, Roy. Thank you.